Hello friends, in the previous couple of sessions, we have gone through uh, basic understanding of resistors, sorry, inductors and capacitors. We found out some certain properties also and I have told you that it is very important to remember all those properties. Now in this session, we will just go through how you can get an equivalent resistance, or, sorry, equivalent inductance or equivalent capacitance when they are connected in series or parallel, okay. Now, uh, as in resistance, I have told you when resistors are in series, okay, the equivalent resistance was R1 plus R2 plus it goes like this. Alright, when they were in parallel, 1 by R equivalent was equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 and it goes like this. Alright, uh, similar result we will get in inductors also. Let us see how it is. Let us take three inductors. Alright, for the time being, let us take only three inductors but of course I can extend it to n inductors as well. So let this be the voltage VL. So this is L1, L2 and L3. And so this current is going to be the same IL because the series circuit. So it is VL1 here and here you have VL2 and it's VL3. So it need not be VL1, VL2, VL3 okay. It can be V1, V2, V3 also. Because we are calling the voltage across inductor L1 as VL1, we have put it as VL1 alright. Now if you apply a simple KVL across the loop, what would I get? So minus VL plus VL1 plus VL2 plus VL3 equal to 0. That means VL is equal to VL1 plus VL2 plus VL3. Alright. Now, if I have to replace this entire thing by an equivalent inductance, so it would look something like this, right? So it will look like L equivalent and this voltage will be VL and this current will be IL. Therefore, this voltage here will be L equivalent DIL by DT and what is VL1? VL1 has a current IL which is passing through it, right? And the inductance is L1. So, it is L1 DIL by DT and this will be plus L2 DIL divided by DT plus L3 DIL3 DIL divided by DT. Because IL is same for everything, it comes as DIL by DT for everything. So, you can cancel the IL from both sides. That means we will get L equivalent will be equal to L1 plus L2 plus L3. In this case, we have taken only three inductors. So, L equivalent in case of N inductors will be L1 plus L2 plus L3 and the list will go on. Okay. It is very similar to the resistance case also. It's very easy to remember, right? Now, next is inductors in parallel. So, inductors in parallel. So, let me take a current source here, IS and let me connect three inductors in parallel. So, 1, 2 and 3 and let this voltage be VL because it is a parallel circuit everything will have the same voltage, right? So, let this be IL1, this is IL2 and this is IL3 and let me label the inductors, this is L1. L2 and L3. So, if I put a KCL at the node, KCL at node 1, let me call it 1, node 1, I will get minus IS plus IL1 plus IL2 plus IL3 equal to 0. That means IS is equal to IL1 plus IL2 plus IL3. You can get it directly also, alright. Now, <coughs> what is the value of IS? You know that VL is equal to L divided by DT, right? Okay. So, I is equal to 1 by L integral of VL DT. Now, if I am replacing L1, L2, L3 by the equivalent resistance, what will I get? I will get IS to be equal to 1 by L equivalent integral and the voltage is same for everything. So, VL DT equal to, now this will be 1 by L1 VL DT because VL is common for everything, right? I am just writing this equation in terms of L1, L2 and L3 plus 1 by L2 integral VL DT plus 1 by L3 integral VL DT. So, that means 1 by L equivalent is equal to 1 by L1 plus 1 by L2 plus 1 by L3 and this is for 3 inductors. Now, if I am having n inductors, it will be 1 by L1 plus 1 by L2 plus 1 by L3 and it goes on. So, inductors uh, equations are very similar for with com as compared to the resistors, alright. Now, let us take capacitors. 
So capacitors in series. Now, as in inductors, let us take three capacitance in this case. Let me take this is C1, this is C2, and let this be C3. All right. So this is the total voltage VC. This is the current IC. So this is VC1, this is VC2, and this is VC3. So this is C1, C2, and C3. So if I apply the KVL, I will get VC is equal to VC1 plus VC2 plus VC3. Now what is the equation of capacitor? IC is equal to C dVC divided by dt, right? That means VC is equal to 1 by C integral IC dt. So I can replace everything by its uh, counterpart integral here. So 1 by C equivalent integral IC dt is equal to 1 by C1 integral IC dt plus 1 by C2 integral IC dt plus 1 by C3 integral IC dt. Okay. So 1 by C equivalent is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Now this is not very similar to the resistance case but in inductors you had the equation directly similar. So the series equation in resistors becomes the parallel equation in, sorry the series equation for capacitors is analogous to the parallel equation the parallel circuit equation in inductors and the reverse we will find it now alright. So let us take capacitors in parallel. So capacitors in parallel okay so let us take three capacitors as usual so this is one by let me put up a current source here so this is ic total so this is c1 c2 and c3 uh, let me just call this is ic1 this is ic2 and this is ic3 all right and this voltage is let me call it as vc so if you apply a kcl I will get IC is equal to IC1 plus IC2 plus IC3. Okay. Now, what is the equation? IC is C dVC by dt. So I'll put C equivalent dVC by dt because voltage is now constant for everything. So this is equal to C1 dVC by dt plus C2 dVC by dt plus C3 dVC by dt. Okay. So C equivalent will be equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 and if you have n number of things you will have just to add them. So the capacitors in parallel have a similar equation of inductors in series alright. Now let us just uh, combine all these things now. So resistors, inductors and capacitors okay. So if you have three resistors in series, series circuit, so R1, R2 and R3, so the R equivalent, the R equivalent will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3, alright. Now if you had a parallel circuit, okay, something like this, R1, R2 and R3. And if you are finding the R equivalent, 1 by R equivalent will be equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3. This you know already. Let us take the case of inductors. Okay. So this is the L equivalent. So L1, L2, L3. In series case, L equivalent is equal to L1 plus L2 plus L3. Now when you have the parallel case, So this is the L equivalent, so L1, L2, L3, so 1 by L equivalent is equal to 1 by L1 plus 1 by L2 plus 1 by L3, alright. Now let's take the capacitors, series combination of capacitors C1, C2, C3 and you are finding C equivalent here. So what is the equation? 1 by C equivalent equal to? 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Alright. And if you have a parallel combination. Okay. 
so if we are finding this equivalent here c1 c2 c3 so c equivalent equal to in this case c1 plus c2 plus c3 okay so this i have put a comparison for you so that you can see how the variation is there between the series connection of inductors and series connection of capacitors make sure that you remember this very well inductors are very similar to resistors but capacitors have a, sim a little bit different equation the equation for the series connection is same as the parallel connection of resistors and the equation for parallel connection of capacitors is similar to the uh, series connections of resistors and inductors all right in the next lecture we can do some problem in this aspect because in competitive exam i have found that they usually ask this particular concept some simple numericals out of this all right i hope you have enjoyed the le lecture please uh, like share and subscribe this video for uh, motivating me because i love your motivation and uh, i'll see you in the next lecture thank you